So I've got another example now where I've got to form them in context. Right, so let's have a look here. So it says a murder victim is discovered at midnight when the body's temperature is 30. So if I took midnight to be T0, I know that theta is 30. One hour later, the body's temperature has fallen to 28. So I know when T is 1, theta is now 28. Uh, the room temperature has remained at 22. At the time of death, the body's temperature was 37. Uh, as the investigating forensic scientist, you are asked to estimate the time of death. So part one is the temperature has been decreasing at a constant rate. So if it decreases at a constant rate from the table, then the change in temperature over time is just a constant, which is minus. There. Now, now this one, I'm going to actually do the solving for it. So I'm going to split it up using my separation of variables. So the other ones, I've just kind of made them. The last two examples, I've just made them. But this one now, I'm going to split up. So I've got d feature on one side, dt on the other. So that becomes theta is minus kt plus c. Now I know that when t is 0, theta is uh, 30. So 30 is minus k lots of nothing plus c. So c is 30. So now I know that theta is minus kt plus 30. I know that one hour later, so I know also then that in t is 1, theta is 28. So if I put that in to my equation, I get that k is, if I take it over and rearrange it, k is 2. Time we on here. Out of time. So theta is minus 2t plus 30. And then it says, estimate the time of death. So I want to find the time when theta is 37. When theta is 37. So 37 is minus 2t plus 30. 2t is 3. t is 1.5. Is that right? Uh, where have we got 3 from? That's me just rushing that, isn't it? It's going, hang on. Absolute rubbish. Where did that come from? So 2t is minus 7. t is minus 3.5. So I'm saying it was 3.5 hours before midnight, when I can't really trust myself to say what time that is. So I'm looking at 20, 30, half eight at night. There. Now that's that one done. So the next one does, uh, it's the rate of, so part two is the rate of change of temperature. So my d theta dt is proportional to the difference between the object and the room temperature there. So d theta dt is minus k theta minus 22. I'm running out of time. I'm just going to sub in the t is 0 and the t is 30, and I'll show you. Actually, this is going to take more than that. I've gone to another thing. I'm going to split it up quickly. So I want theta on one side and minus kdt, but the time's running out. I've got a log, so I've got a log of theta minus 22 is minus kt plus c. Now I'm going to use the t is 0. I'm just going to pause it. t is 0 theta. That gives me log 8 is c. I'll write that down, but then I'm going to stop it and start another thing. Sorry. I'm now going to do the T is 1, T is 2, and theta is 28. But it's going to run out of time, so I'm going to stop and start again.